Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Have you ever had the experience where you were so looking forward for something to happen, even dreaming for it to happen, and then when you got there, it turned out not to be all it was cracked up to be? I'll never forget an incident before I came to Jesus. I was 17 years old. I was uh, homeless in Belfast. And I was drinking in a music club called the Pound Bar. Now, the Pound Bar was a really rough bar. It was just uh, by Oxford Street bus station in Belfast. Uh, the outside, it was joined on to Roddy's Bar. And uh, the outside of the building was pockmarked by the remnants of an explosion eight years earlier from 1972 when uh, on Bloody Friday. There were 24 bombs planted across Belfast and 20 of them exploded uh, within an 80 minute period, uh, killing nine people and injuring 130 people. And one of the worst, of, the largest of those bombs was just outside the Pound Bar. So you could still see the scars of that explosion on the outside of the building and the inside was dog rough. And I was drinking there that evening and at some stage I had too much to drink and I just literally slipped off my seat and, and slid underneath the table. And I woke up later on, several hours later, and found I had been locked inside the pound bar. Everybody had gone home. I was there on my own. Well, as an alcoholic, I thought this was the best day of my life. I went behind the bar and I began helping myself to every drink possible combination of drinks that I could think of. And I drank and I drank and I drank. And then I began to think about what would happen when morning came. Because the pound, there were some hard men, connected men that you used to see coming in and out of that place. And I knew only too well that in many places in Belfast where they were paying the protection money, that if something like this happened, they wouldn't call the police the next morning. They would call the, they would call the paramilitaries and I would likely be shot in my kneecaps uh, for what I had done. And so rather than now thinking this was the best day of my life, I began to understand this could well be the worst day of my life. It took me several hours, but I managed to break out of a pub. I don't know if I'm the only alcoholic in Belfast. I know lots have tried to break into pubs. I don't know if I was the only one that ever broke out of a pub. But I remember as I made, made my way uh, away down the streets and tried to put as much distance as possible between me and the pound bar, I, I remember just feeling a sense of overwhelming relief. And I said, I hope nothing like this ever happens to me ever again. The, thing, the day that I thought was something I'd love, something I'd enjoy, something that would be the best day of my life had turned out to be the worst. Now, hopefully none of you will have an experience like that. But many of us do have the experience where we're longing for something. And then when we get to it, we find it does not give us the satisfaction that we thought it would. Why? Because true satisfaction is only to be found in Jesus Christ. That's what we were made for. We were made with a longing for him. We were made with a desire to, to know Jesus. We were created to have a spirit that was alive, not dead in trespass and sin. And so we can never be truly satisfied uh, with material things or even emotional things. We need spiritual satisfaction. And the Rolling Stones might have sang, I can't get no satisfaction. But my testimony is that I found satisfaction when I found Jesus. And I pray that today you will live in the satisfaction, the spiritual satisfaction that comes from knowing Jesus and knowing that you're standing in his grace and his love. May God bless you today and join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.